everybody. I'm gonna give you a detailed look at the greenhouse. I'm not 100% done. Inside is completely done and I gotta get the chickens in. Uh, Cause they're running out of room in there where they're staying as chicks. So, but I just have trim and paint. You can see the trim color there. I gotta do the trim there. This side of the door I need trim. Uh, that side of the door I need trim to do that but it's structurally sound and then I got to paint all the trim I put two clamps on each door so the doors don't do this but that one when I bought it only came with half the hardware <laughs> so I gotta return it and bring it back so the front I got this door opens this way this door opens this way so I can bring my tractor up put the bucket down scoop everything inside out inside the tractor so to make that easy for me over here you got the nesting boxes right here and go back so you can see it got a sun glare so I'm sorry if there's glare on this right there and I'm probably gonna put metal up here to match the roof just don't have any right now so and if you bottoms the same you can open up grab the eggs right here so you guys can figure the bottom one out it's the same okay this over here Two windows in the door. Now I just have that blocked off for now. There's gonna be a sliding door out here. I'm gonna build with rope up and over to raise and lower without getting inside the chicken area. So, got the windows open for some airflow right now. There's the metal roof, and that'll be on top of the nesting boxes over there. This side here, there's nothing, it's just, just a wall. This is the plain Jane side here. So we can open the doors up so you can see inside. Okay, from here I got the nesting boxes. I got the vents I got to put up yet, but that can be, I don't want them in now because I don't want too cold because they are a little little and they're almost 100% feathered, but not 100%. So I don't want too much draft through. And you can see that's just a scrap board blocking the door to keep some of the other critters out and uh, keep them in. Straw over at the bottom. You can see I got a linoleum. Down there, I always want to say anoleum. <laughs> I know that's wrong, so if I say it, I'm sorry. So to make it to help water tight, uh, this here I put these on top so they don't roost up here because it's open to these boxes here. I did that to let some air flow through there. Uh, these chains are here temporarily while they're in here. This will be the food, this will be the water, and that'll be in here just while they're in here. Then I'm gonna move everything outside and build a shelter. Roosts. Roost all over up there. You can see that stairwell. Let me go over here. You can see the roosts. I got all over up here. Then get up there by the stairs. And this stair is, you can see how I just got it grooved up there. They're just notched in there. So I can take this out when I want to clean this out. Or at least lift the bottom up to make it a lot easier. So in here you can get a little better view of the nesting boxes and the chains and everything right there so that's the chicken coop uh very happy very good like i said there's still a few odds and ends i have to do there like i said those vent i got to put one there and one down here and i'm also thinking about on the door right in the middle of the door here putting another vent to make a cross breeze here just to help air it out more but i don't want to do that when they're small chicks so i gotta cut these screws off too before i put the chickens in but they're coming in today so that's the chicken coop i hope you guys like it any questions let me know uh if you see anything i should change let me know i'm sure there's some stuff i should change in here but uh, that's it i hope everybody has a great day